stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch we're so gallantly streaming in the rocky Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to North Harden High School here at Ron Bevers Gym Memorial Gymnasium for tonight's 17th District Boys Basketball Action. Tonight's ball game has the 12 and 6 Central Harden Bruins coming to take on the 4 and 16 North Harden Trojans. We're having the North Harden Junior ROTC program retire the colors. And for both teams coming in a big 17th district matchup as John Harden has kind of taken place taken control of the number one seed North Harden E-Town and uh, Central Harden all fighting for that 2-3 spot as you don't want to have to play the John Harden Bulldogs in the semifinals. I am Bobby Thompson and is always joined by Coach Paul Gray and Coach Gray coming into the night's ball game. What are you kind of expecting out of both of these teams? Well, you, obviously, uh, you know, Central Harden, one of the preseason favorites, has got to be the big favorite tonight. You look at the record, you look at their performances. Uh, maybe a slightly disappointing season for Central Harden. Um, but North Harden, who had shown a lot of improvement in the middle of the season, has struggled lately. So what I'm looking for tonight is, is uh, what kind of effort we're going to get out of North Harden. Uh, they have been so up and down when they are uh, tough and battling on the inside. Uh, they can really play. Uh, young uh, freshman, uh, Quayshawn Davis, uh, is someone to watch. Josh Moore, obviously. Those two guys inside pushing the ball to the basket. Central Harden loves to play from the outside. They love the perimeter game. They love to create pressure uh, in full court defense. And so those two, guys, those two things are the keys, I think. The interior uh, defense and rebounding and the outside game from the Central Harden Bruins. So we have Malachi Mullins finishing off with the starting lineup. First for the Bruins, it'll be Gavin George, Bianco Wilkerson, Chase Elmore, Jacob Hobbs, and Jack Kissabaugh. For the Trojans, Jalen Sharks, Quayshon Davis, Eric Moore, Nasir Johnson, and Josh Moore. At midcourt, it looks like it will be Jacob Hobbs and Josh Moore to tip. Central Harden will control the opening tap. I incorrectly said Gavin George will start. Actually, it's going to be Damon Mumford starting in place of Gavin George. Mumford had the ball knocked out of his hands by Jalen Sharks and a turnover to start the game for the Bruins. This year, Johnson has kind of moved into that starting point guard role for Coach Kofer. 
Central's going to go in man to man. Neither of the teams really going to go inside. Josh Moore for the Trojans might do it, but a lot of times they're going to play five out. Davis got underneath the goal, missed that shot. Mumford comes out with it. Chase Elmore will be tripped up. Foul's going to be on Johnson. It's first, team's first. Elmore to inbound the ball for the Bruins. Wilkerson squares up three on the way. It's no good. Johnson with the rebound for the Trojans. Quickly gets it ahead to Josh Moore. Moore trying to find Jalen Sharps. It was an Aaron pass. Turnover back to the Bruins. North going to play some full court pressure. Gets the ball guarded by Sharps. 17-footer from Hobbs on the way off the backboard. No good. Eric Moore with the rebound. Johnson pulls up 10-footer. It's good. The first points of the night go to the freshman from North Harden. 6.30 to go in our opening quarter. Elmore steps just inside the three-point line. Shot in there, no good. Kissaball had it, loses it, out of bounds. And they'll go over to North Harden. Now Central Harden will apply pressure. And Hobbs on the inbound. That's a travel, as it was a spot throw, and it wasn't after a basket. And I think Jacob Hobbs causes that just by his length. It's hard to throw over and around. Elmore to inbound the ball. Gets it in to kiss the ball. Three for Elmore. Rattles around, no good. Davis with the rebound for the Trojans. Gets it ahead to Eric Moore. Sharp's going to get into the lane. Up off the glass, no good. Hobbs with the rebound. Kiss the ball, deep three, top of the key. It rolls around, no good. Bite it out. Sharps gets it going the other direction. Trying to draw the contact. Kiss the ball did a good job kind of not falling for it. Mumford on the baseline. Steps called. Slow start for the Bruins. 0 for 6 from the field. Uh, four three-point attempts. Nothing in yet. Each team with a couple of turnovers already. Get it ahead to Davis. Johnson going to go baseline. Passes off to Eric Moore. Miss inside ball. Knocked back around. Moore gets an offensive rebound in the putback. His first bucket tonight, 4-0. Three minutes into this ball game, North Harden on top. That's going to be on Sharps. And Sharps, I don't know why he's complaining. They actually, put an elbow into the back of Kissaball's head. For the Central Harden, Sean Hay and Gavin George check into the lineup. For the Trojans, Tony Everett checks in. Everett, a starter the last couple of years, coming off of an injury. Chris Gopher one starting a little bit slower. Gavin George, he'll drive inside. He's fouled. He'll be going to the line. I believe that foul is going to be on Nasir Johnson, his second team's third. Marcus Sisney quickly off the bench for Coach Gopher. After his first free throw by George. Sisney will check into the ball game. Ty Turner checks in for the Bruins.
And George takes three minutes and 25 seconds to get the Bruins on the board. Wilkerson almost got the steal there. Sisney breaks the press. Into the lane, loses the ball. And now it is a steal for Wilkerson. Everett anticipating that one, knocks it out of bounds. It'll stay with the Bruins. George to inbound the ball for Central Harden. And it's going to be a turnover to North Harden. That's going to, as Moore misses that one, goes off the Bruins out of bounds. Stay with North Harden. Hobbs will knock that one out. It'll stay on that end. That's going to be on Josh Moore. The legal screen. Hits first, team's fourth. Disney guards George. Midway through this opening quarter, just five total points scored. George pulls up. George now with all three of the Central Harden points, and it's a one-point game, four to three. And a carry called by one Eric Moore. Turnover to the uh, Bruins. Hobbs will inbound the ball for Central Harden. George gives it up for Hay. Outside to Wilkerson, around to Hobbs, back to George. Josh Moore did a good job getting his hand in there. Everett comes away with it. And that foul is going to be on Gavin George. That'll be his first, team's first. Well, the Bruins struggling to shoot the ball, and again, they get it in the lane for the one made basket they had there. They do need to attack the basket, be a little more aggressive. Jordan Lovett checked in for the Trojans. Eric Moore, three on the way. It's good. Eric Moore now with five points. Josh Moore heading to the trainer's table. And Gavin George down the lane misses that one. Moore got Moore gets the ball and calls a timeout. Coach Kofer's getting a technical. He got right in the official's ear and was barking about um, calling a timeout and uh, kept barking after the, uh, the timeout was called. And so a technical has been called on North Harden, on Coach Kofer. Timeout called. And North Harden, now they will, I believe, lose possession. They call timeout to save possession. This is a Hardin County Educational Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates. More personal attention for more effective results. Ryan Harris of Remax Premier Properties for all your real estate needs. Bluegrass Cellular offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere. E-Town Exterminating 270-737-6900. And West Point Bank, let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. Not a lot of scoring going on through the first five minutes of this ball game. Coach Gray, what have you noticed on both sides? Again, we talked about it uh, pregame. Uh, the the uh, strength inside of the Trojans uh, with a couple of putback baskets inside and then obviously um, you know uh, Eric Moore knocking down a three-pointer but a lot of that work done on the inside and the, and the Bruins just look really sluggish. Gavin George will take these technical free throws. 
That does count as a team foul. So the Trojans will now have five team fouls. Well, I guess they think Gavin's one of the best free throw shooters. That's why you'd have him take the free throw. But he's now one for four from the line. And the uh, Central Harden Bruins shooting woes continue. Elmore gets it in the corner, back inside to George. Tried to pass it to Hobbs along the baseline. It goes wide. It'll be a turnover to North Harden. Got it out to Jordan. Love it. Love it. Misses the reverse layup. I believe they're going to get Everett on this one as he went over the back of Chase Elmore. His first, team sixth. Hobbs puts it down on the floor. He'll pull up 15-footer. It's good. Sharp sends it ahead, but... That was well over Lovett's head. He saves it back in, but to the Bruins. Other end, Chase Elmore down there. The save goes off of the Trojans. Well, you can see the Trojans are trying to be physical. Hobbs coming down behind it was looking to maybe follow up a shot with a dunk, and uh, Tony Everett gave him a shot. Ty Turner knocks down his first shot of the night. And now Central Harden with the lead. Eight to seven. Everett pull up three at the other end. No good. Ball knocked around. Hobbs comes out with it. Gets it ahead to kiss the ball. Hobbs will pull up for a three. It's good. And now the Bruins start heating up. An 8-0 run by Central Harden. And that will have a 30-second timeout called by Coach Kofer. This is a Hardin County Educational Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, Ryan Harris of Remax Premier Properties, Bluegrass Cellular, E-Town Exterminating, and West Point Bank. Tune in weekly for rebroadcasts of all local HCC TV programs airing on Brandenburg Telecom and Comcast Cable Channel 2, Spectrum Communications Channel 184, and you can always search our past broadcast on our YouTube channel. Just search HCEC TV. Ty or Gavin George scored the first three points for the Bruins. It took him three minutes to start scoring. Since then, they have gone on a 8-2 run. Central stays in their man-to-man. -man. Eric Moore drives, kicks out. Sisney shot blocked by Kissaball. Moore gathers it in, the swing around. Davis for three, it's short. Bianco Wilkerson will get the rebound. One minute to go in this opening quarter. Wilkerson into the lane. Called for the foul. He'll be heading to the line to shoot two. Eric Moore picks up his first, team seventh. Wilkerson knocks that one down. That'll get Josh Moore back into the lineup for North Harden. Sean Hay back into the lineup for Central Harden. Wilkerson gets his first two points of the evening. Now it's a six-point lead for the Bruins. 
Sisney pass down low to Lovett. Lovett's fouled, doesn't get the roll. He'll be going to the line to shoot two. Ty Turner going to pick up his first team second. It'll be Lovett's. It'll be actually the Trojans' first trip to the line all night. Hobbs gets back into the lineup for Central. That one off. Josh Moore gets the rebound. His shot back up. No good. Love it. Got the rebound that time. He'll be fouled. I believe this one will go on Hobbs. His first, team's third. And now Love it right back to the line to shoot two more. Thirty nine point six seconds to go in the opening quarter. Rebound by Hobbs. Elmore quickly gets it ahead for George. George cross to the corner for Wilkerson. Three on the way. In and out. Hobbs tipped the ball. Hay gets it. Hay will be fouled and he'll be going to the line. I believe this is going to be on Lovett, which will be his first. Team's eight. Mumford checks back in for Central Arden. Max Campbell checks in for the first time tonight for the Trojans. Now it looks like Central going to drop back into a 2-3 zone. Sharp with a deep three. He'll be fouled by Mumford. First, team's fourth, and that's really, that's just not good basketball. A bad mistake. Bad he was mistake. shooting that from 25 feet. I think the contact was minimal. It may have been a pretty good acting job, but uh, you still, there's no reason for that contact that far out on the floor. I, mean, I bet you Coach Nickel would like him to shoot it from that far out. Uh, absolutely. Sharps with one more free throw. Those two points first since the technical foul on Coach Kofer. 15 to nine, Central Arden on top, under 10 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Hay with it, not sure they know how much time is on the clock. Elmore puts it down. He was out of control in the lane. He'll lose that one over to North Harden. 2.6 seconds. Central going to come forward. Sharps gets it. A little beyond midcourt. Shot. It's good! And Jalen Sharps hits a three from just beyond half court as the time expires. So our first quarter comes to an end. 15 to 12 with Central Harden on top. This is a Harden County Educational and Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Harden County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical therapy associates, more personal attention for more effective results. With locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Radcliffe, Brandenburg, Bardstown, and Louisville. Online at physicaltherapyky.com. Ryan Harris of Remax Premier Properties. For all your real estate needs, contact Ryan at 270-723-4626 and he'll get the job done. Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere where wireless works, online at mugabug.com. And West Point Bank with five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple, online at westpointbank.com. 
Coach, 15 to 12, and, and North Harden really lucky they get five points from Jalen Sharps in the last 16 seconds of this first half to cut the lead to three. What were your thoughts about the opening quarter? Well, you know, each team only turned it over three times, not which isn't terrible, which means there's a lot of bad offense. When you're not turning over and you're still not scoring, in fact, Central Harden was anemic on offense for much of the quarter, except for a stretch of about a minute and a half where they hit three big shots. Uh, North Harden, a lot of their um, buckets were off of uh, garbage time inside. So uh, both teams have got to clean it up on the offensive end. I think the clock started late. It didn't start as there's only two seconds gone by and we've seen the ball in for at least 10 seconds. Well, a little sleepy at the beginning of the second quarter. Yep. <laughs> That's going to be on Max Campbell. He came behind and just shoved um, Chase Elmore. His first team's night from this point on, Central Harden will be in the double bonus. George walks. Yeah, took an extra step as he turned the corner. Central Harden not going to apply full court pressure, but they're going to pick up the Trojans at half court. Job of switching by the Bruins that time. There was, could have been a mismatch down low. Aaron Moore gets, or sorry, Josh Moore gets into lane, loses it on the way up. Sean Hay has it, loses it to Josh Moore. Moore shot altered by Hobbs. We're gonna have a jump ball down low, and that'll go over to the Bruins. Really good work on the defensive end that time. Trying to keep him out of the lane and then getting on the boards. George gets up in the air, quick passes around. Now Elmore for three. It's good. Elmore's first bucket of the night. It's the third three pointer made by the Bruins after starting off very cold from the field. Get it to Campbell. Up and under, Max Campbell with a nice move. Gets his name in the scoring column. It's a four-point ball game as we hit the 6.20 mark of the first half. Kevin George got awful close to the center line. Wilkerson unable to get that. Davis dives for it. It was a quick jump ball. Very quick. I didn't think Wilkerson had his hands in there yet. Yeah. It'll go over to North Harden. Could have been called a walk on yep. Davis as well, sliding with the ball there, but great hustle. Bianco Wilkerson looked a little bit like he kind of nonchalantly went for the ball, and Tayshawn Davis was there getting after it and uh, paid off for the Trojans. Tony Everett checked in at that last stoppage for North Harden. Sisney drives inside, kicks to Everett. Sisney will take a three from the corner, rattles in and out. Hay with the rebound. That's going to be a foul on Hay. That'll be his first, team's fifth. Yeah. 
Moore picks up his dribble now, skip pass to Everett. Everett pulls up Josh Hay, or sorry, Sean Hay with the block on that. Wilkerson to the other end, it's Josh Moore with the block. Wilkerson picks up his own ball. Don't know that he had reestablished himself back inbound. He's gonna throw that one out. I think Josh Moore got away with one there. He's got that sly look on his smile on his face. <laughs> he knows he touched the ball before it went out. I think the officials are gonna discuss it here. I think they're getting ready to correct this call. And Coach Kofi might get his second. And so, and that's the correct call. Here, Moore checks back in for North Harden. Jack Kissleball checks back in for Central Harden. George into the lane, kicks out for Elmore. Three on the way, it's short. I don't believe he's going to be on Gavin George. George a couple of times tonight has gotten into the lane but really been out of control and has gotten in the air and not really sure where he was going to go with it. Picks up his second foul, team six. Jalen Sharps checks back in for North Harden. Ty Turner back in for Central Harden. From this point on, both teams will be in the bonus. 4.35 to go in the first half. 18 to 14, Central Harden on top. Turnover by the Trojans. Hobbs puts it on the floor. Campbell blocks it. Hobbs gathers it back in. Good find to tie Turner down low by Kissaball. Turner now with five points in the ball game. And the lead for Central as we hit the midway point of the second quarter. Stretches back out to six. Everett goes inside up off the glass. No good. Well, Elmore gathered it in. One advantage for Central Harden, they have four players that can bring the ball up the court at any time. That might be on Hobbs going the other way. And that'll be foul on Hobbs. His second, team seventh. And now Sean Hay will check in for Hobbs. Nasir Johnson checks back in for the Trojans. Or sorry, Eric Moore puts it on the floor. He'll be fouled and going to the line. It's going to be on Sean Hay, his second, team's eighth. Moore to the line to shoot two. It's that one to fall. Rashad Davis back into the lineup for North. Damon Munford back in for Central. Munford with the rebound. In fact, Coach Nickel going to take a quick timeout, a full timeout, with 3.16 to go here in the first half. Our score, 20 to 15, Central Harden on top. This is a Harden County Educational and Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Harden County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. Ryan Harris of REMAX Premier Properties, for all your real estate needs, contact Ryan. 
Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere. E-Town Exterminating, 270-737-6900. And West Point Bank, let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. Next week, we have two ball games on tap on Tuesday night. It'll be the rematch of one of the highest scoring high school games I've called in quite a while. As John Harden will travel to Elizabethtown in boys action. Tip time scheduled there for 730. And then Friday night, it'll be girls action as the John Harden Bulldogs travel to take on the Central Harden Bruins. That game also with a 730 tip time. Coach for North Harden, they've just scored three points here in the second quarter. We're 445 into this second half. What do they need to do? It's just been ugly points. basketball. You mentioned the uh, the high scoring game we called with John and Elizabeth Town. These two teams, neither one of them doing a very good job moving the ball. And there's an opportunity and the ball not going in the basket. The North Harden, they've got to move the ball. There's got to be some flow established. They've got to be able to break the defense down and, and then move the ball. Ask, you know, get the defense out of position and then keep moving the basketball because the more you do that, the more opportunities, good opportunities you're going to get. Ty Turner fouled on that one by Tony Everett. Second foul for Everett. Turner's first trip to the line tonight. Sharps back in for North Harden. Davis with the rebound. Well, they've got a mismatch if Campbell was able to get in front of Turner and just square him up. Shot for three by Sharps. It's good. His second three-pointer. That one about half the distance of his first three-pointer. He hit at the end of the opening quarter. Now it'll be Elmore. Pulls up for a three on the other, and it's good. That's his second three-pointer. Moore for three, it's good. Eric Moore, his second three-pointer of the night. Moore now with nine points on the night for the Trojans. Turner gonna get inside. It's gonna be a double bonus. The foul's gonna be on Jalen Sharps, that's his second. And that'll send Turner to the line to shoot two. Turner one for two from the line tonight. Marcus Sisney back into the lineup for North Harden. I don't think you'd have believed me if I'd have told you this close to the halftime, the leading scorers for the two teams would be Ty Turner and Eric Moore. Uh, not really anybody else getting off. Jesse on Jalen Sharps, uh, <laughs> Jalen Sharps, with uh, with uh, several good buckets as well for the Trojans. Minus Sisney down low. Elmore just pops that one out of bounds. Stay with the Trojans. Sisney to inbound the ball. And into Campbell. Campbell inside the floater, it's good. And I'll just be honest, Central Harden does not play good inside defense. Um, but really no teams in our area really try to expose them. Step calls on Kissabaugh, we go back over to North Harden. Well, you know, with Campbell and uh, Lovett, two really strong kids inside, they could really force the issue and continue to pound it in there uh, if they wanted to. Two-point ball game, Central Harden on top. Central Harden was behind early in the ball game and had the lead since about the five-minute mark of the opening quarter. Elmore with eight points in this quarter alone for the Bruins. Pushes it back out to a four-point lead. 105 to go here in the first half of play. 
Campbell down low, turns up off the glass, no good. Ball rattles around. Josh Moore had it. Davis comes out with it for the Trojans. Cross. Josh Moore missed that one. Mumford with the rebound. Quickly out to Wilkerson. That could have been a charge. I, Max Campbell did a good job getting in front. And I think it's a good call on the officials to not call anything. Turnover to North Harden. That's close to a walk by Sisney. And Elmore gets the steal. Poor execution by the Trojans. 15 seconds to go. And Wilkerson loses it, forces it up off the glass, no good. Two seconds, Moore going to throw it to the other end, and that's how our opening half will come to a close. Central Harden on top, 27-23. This is a Harden County Educational Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Harden County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. With locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Rankin, Brandenburg, Marchtown, and Louisville. Online at physicaltherapyky.com. East Ryan Harris of Remax Premier Properties. For all your real estate needs, contact Ryan at 270-723-4626 and he'll get the job done. Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere where wireless works. Online at bluegrasscellular.com. E-Town Exterminating, 270-737-6900. Online at mugabug.com. And West Point Bank with five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. Online at westpointbank.com. We'll be back after this short timeout with first half stats and analysis and second half action. Hi, my name is Dale Mings, and welcome to HCC TV Live Sports Coverage. We want to take a few moments right now to recognize one of our longtime sponsors with our live sports coverage. Bluegrass Cellular. Well, we started back in 1989 just offering a basic service to our customers and uh, eventually in 1998 we started doing our first digital service, providing our first digital service and then later in 2005 we launched our first smartphone service and ever since then we've been adding to our product portfolio, enhancing the services and uh, now we even have mobile services as well as a number of uh, fleet digital services for our business customers. Well, the future is pretty bright. Uh, right now, we continue, as I mentioned, to enhance our portfolio. Uh, so we have in-vehicle uh, internet services that we can provide to families as they travel uh, throughout the holidays. Uh, we have our fleet services where you can monitor and manage how your vehicles are being used uh, if you're a business customer of ours. So uh, it looks pretty bright. We're not just uh, only focusing on the mobile handheld device. So we can even service your internet, provide your internet service in your home. Well, we have a core employee group of approximately 400 employees, but uh, more importantly to us, not only do we have our employees that are directly employed by our organization, but we support well over 125 vendors. So each of those vendors have their own set of employees, and they're all part of the Bluegrass family. So it's your community expanded, it's our business expanded, so we're completely entrenched and we're fully invested in, in where we are. I'll tell you what, I, what I'm really excited about is when we talk about being local, oftentimes organizations, we picture a local as a place, right? My organization is located in Elizabethtown. That's, that's a specific area where you are. Here, what we do is we like to do local. So local as a verb and action word. So just the other day, we were very fortunate enough to be involved uh, in a, a shelter clean out. Uh, we cleaned the grills and tables and walls of a community shelter. So they were able to uh, pass their inspection. This wasn't done on the weekend where employees just do when they, when they feel like they would be fit their schedule. This was actually done during the day. The company fully supported that, fully supported our, or our organization's uh, team members to go out to the facility and do work there. Um, beyond that, uh, a lot of times when you hear the word local or local involvement, you may think of an organization of our size would simply write a check, or that's how you're involved. 
But once again, I mentioned that we do local. So uh, we're actually involved in organizations such as uh, uh, Helping Hands and Battle for the Bluegrass, where we're providing funds for schools, and we're actively involved. So uh, it's, it's, that's how we view our local involvement. Well, right now, we are really excited about our Wi-Fi service, so uh, you can have your internet in your home in areas where uh, previously some of the landline providers were unable to provide you with internet service. Now you can come to Bluegrass Cellular and we can provide you with internet service in your home. Uh, even if you're in an extremely rural area, uh, you can be connected uh, digitally to the rest of the world. Uh, on top of that, uh, as I mentioned, we have our uh, fleet services. So if you own a business, uh, our internet service uh, will allow you to track your, your vehicles, will allow you to do business on the move and on the go. So your employees, particularly if you have a sales organization, they're no longer tethered to a cubicle or to an office. Uh, there's always work to be done and when you're mobile and when you're mobily doing work, uh, then you're going to be extremely more productive and that's all due to some of the products that we're offering. Well, you can walk into one of our retail locations. We have over 35 located throughout Central Kentucky. So uh, we're in a town near you. Uh, you can also find us at bluegrasscellular.com. Thank you for taking a few moments to learn about one of our uh, longtime sponsors here at HCUC TV. Um, and we just want to thank Bluegrass Cellular once again for supporting our students and providing this uh, wonderful service. Now let's get back to the ball game. Hello and welcome to this special session in which we are going to greet one of our outstanding sponsors with our HCEC TV live sports coverage. In addition to Brandon Guard Telecom, we have one of our longer partners, we have Physical Therapy Associates. And they, I think they've been with us practically day one. So joining us is Beth Bessels, who is a physical therapist at PCA. And also, we've got a new person with us today, Kyle Oldham. And he is a licensed athletic trainer as well as a performance enhancement specialist. Now, that's a long title for the job that you do, but I know you do many jobs. So first, we'll begin with, let's talk about physical therapy associates history and our show for the yeah, definitely. So it uh, first opened in 1997 in the Town, and since then it has grown to have multiple locations. So we have Elizabethtown, Bradford, Hodgenville, Bardstown, Louisville, and our newest one is in Brainerd. Now, are all full service uh, PTA trucks? Yes. Yeah. Talk about the, the elemental service in this unit. Yeah, so we um, see a lot of people in the range from um, orthopedic conditions, shoulder pain, back pain, neck pain. Um, we help people with uh, total joint replacement, and um, we help with athletes as well. We kind of run a full gamut. Um, and some of those uh, services are specialized. We talk about training, but, right? So we uh, provide treatments such as ASIM, which is a type of massage using the tool to help facilitate healing. Um, we also do several different types of patients. You can see Kyle has some on his arm here. Um, and we do something called dry needling as well, um, which is relatively new yeah. and physically very effective. But what does it do with this kind of thing? Yeah. So we've seen a lot of really good results with this, especially with uh, neck pain, back pain. Um, and uh, what it does is we take a uh, thin fill of the needle and we work within the muscles of the body to help uh, to um, relax them, to relax the trigger points. So it really helps people to have um, like a mild fascial pain and a mild fascial pain. Okay. Now, Kyle, you're new to uh, this studio taking here. Um, you also are new to the business. You've been here a couple of years, but that doesn't mean you've been involved with what you do for a number of years. So tell us a little bit about what you do at PTA. Yeah, um, well, most athletic trainers are you know, facilitated with the sports programs and stuff. Um, and then a few of us get to be in the clinic um, setting. And so that's what's really nice is I get the clinic setting, so I don't necessarily have to work for hours um, of covering the games and stuff. Um, but what's really great in my role in the clinic is I get to um, kind of further our rehab. So I get to um, take those upper level rehabs, our ACLs, um, you know, a lot of the athletes that really need to go to the next level and have a good transition into back into their sport. 
um, I get to make that transition easy and, and seamless and just kind of um, they're able to jump right into their sport once they leave us. Um, and so that's really helpful considering how competitive we are in our area, just our community with sports. We have so many people going to the next level. Um, and we're able just to give them that competitive edge and get back um, to their sports. So. That's amazing. Now, uh, those at home, you may see what you think might be a tattoo on Kyle's mm -hmm. arm, but it's actually a, a service, uh, yeah. a treatment. So talk about that. Yeah, so um, this is kinesio tape. Um, actually, um, the Olympics now, you'll probably see a ton of athletes with the kinesio tape on, um, a lot of different colors. And we actually have, I got certified um, last year, and we actually just had a whole bunch of them get certified this past weekend. Um, but yeah, the one that I have on now is a lymphatic taping, so it helps with um, the swelling and trying to get all that debris out of the, the system, and um, we love it. In conjunction with everything that we offer, um, the tape allows us um, just at the beginning of our um, rehabs um, and also when they leave. So when they leave, it's like we get to keep our hands on them as they leave. So everything that we have done for them, um, it just stays with them until they come back to us. Um, so we get a lot of benefits from it, um, whether it's pain management or facilitation with the muscles or getting those muscles just to relax. Um, we are able to do that with just our taping. Um, so it, it has definitely been an asset to us. Um, you also have a new facility located at your Woodland Drive site. Talk a little bit about that because that goes hand in hand mm -hmm. with our sports athletes. Yeah, um, actually it's all one building now, so we have just added a Welcome back to North Harden High School here at Ron Bevers Gymnasium for tonight's 17th District Boys Basketball Action. Our halftime score has the Bruins on top. 27-23 over the Trojans. It'll be Central Arden basketball as we start the second half. North stays in their man-to-man -man defense. Starters on the court for the uh, for the Trojans. Johnson, Davis, Eric Moore, Josh Moore, and Sharps. For the Bruins, it's Wilkerson, Kissaball, Hobbs, Elmore, and George. Hobbs, they're gonna get Eric Moore as he basically hooked Jacob Hobbs. That'll be his second, team's first. Going down the scoring from the first half, first for the Bruins. Gavin George with three, Deonta Wilkerson with two. Chase Elmore led all Bruins with eight. Wilkerson for three, no good. Jacob Hobbs had five. Ty Turner with seven, and Sean Hay with two. For the Trojans, Jalen Sharps with eight. Quayshawn Davis had two. Eric Moore led all Trojans with nine. And Max Campbell had four. Both teams started off both quarters cold. Shot by Davis, blocked by Hobbs. Johnson to inbound the ball for the Trojans. Sharps tries to pass it across. Elmore anticipates it, gets the steal, and lays it off for Kissaball. Wilkerson will be tripped in the lane. Johnson, his third, team second. Wilkerson, go to the line, shooting two. Thought the trip happened before he started to shoot the ball. Knocks it down. Wilkerson's only points tonight have come from the free throw line. John breaking the press that time. Davis in the lane. This floater, it's good. He got the first points of the ball game for the Trojans. It's the first points for the Trojans in the second half. Elmore pull up for his three. 
It's long. Davis had the ball. It's going to be a tie-up. That'll go over to the Trojans. Central Harden going to come out. Press full court. Get it into Sharps. Trying to throw it over the top. Elmore, it's got to be a third or four steals he's gotten tonight. Gives it to Hobbs, 15-footer. It's good. Hobbs scoreless in that second quarter. That gives him seven on the night. And that's a good call as Elmore was actually falling before Josh Moore even got to him. That'll be on Elmore, his first, team's first. Everett back into the lineup for the Trojans. Throw it in to nobody. And now Gavin George to the other end. He'll be found there. That'll be on Everett. His third team foul. Or his third foul, team's third. And now George to the line. George struggling in the first half from the free throw line. One for four on the night. Marcus Sisney back into the lineup for the Trojans. Well, Gavin's usually a 73% free throw shooter, so uh, this is very unusual. That's going to go off Hobbs. It'll be North Harden basketball. Davis going to give a lob for Moore. Josh Moore, that's the first points by Josh Moore. Surprising it's taking him that long to get involved in the scoring tonight. Cuts it to a four-point lead, 31-27. Josh Moore almost causes a steal. That one goes off of Moore, so it'll stay with the Bruins. Elmore to inbound this one. 5-12 to go here in the third quarter. And Hobbs pull up three. It's good. Hobbs has two two-pointers and two three-pointers, giving him 10 points. There's a steal by Gavin George. Good pass from Hobbs to Wilkerson. And Wilkerson with his first made bucket. And now North Harden will take a timeout. 455 as it goes from a four-point lead to a nine-point lead pretty quickly. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television Nine, Suit Production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County building, Schools. Live Channel One programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs, physical therapy associates, more personal attention for more effective results. Ryan Harris of Remax Premier Properties for all your real estate needs. Bluegrass Cellular offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere. E-Town Exterminating 270-737-6900. And West Point Bank, let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. Reminder, we'll be back on the air two nights next week. Tuesday night, it'll be boys action as John Harden travels to Elizabethtown. And then on Friday night, it'll be girls 17th district action as John Harden travels to Central Harden. Both games set for a 7.30 tip time. Coach Gray, early here in the second half, John, or sorry, North Harden has come out and struggled again uh, to start this off. What do they need to do to get back into this ball game? Well, they, again, they're going to have to continue to be really tenacious on the defensive end. But offensively, again, like you were talking about earlier, they've got to force the ball inside a little bit. Josh Moore just getting his first basket is shocking. Uh, the bucket they got earlier with Quayshawn Davis going to the rim, that was a really good uh, play for them. But they can't settle. They can't just settle for outside shots. and They've got to take care of the ball a little bit better as well. Much better ball movement there. Sisney gets into the lane. Wilkerson knocked it away. Turner gives it right back to him. Pass ahead to Gavin George. Misses that one. And 
I believe it's going to be a foul on Davis. That's his first, team's fourth. And George back to the line to shoot two. So that one to fall. One more. Knocks both of those down, gives him five points on the night. Johnson cutting to the hole, gets there, nice shot down low by Johnson. Good entry pass from Josh Moore. Johnson's first bucket of the night. Gavin George gonna get all the way in, he's fouled, he'll be going to the line to shoot two. It's gonna be on Marcus Sisney. That'll be his first, team's fifth. Sharp back into the lineup for the Trojans. George, after starting the game, one for six has knocked down his last four. Damon Munford back into the lineup for Central Harden. That goes off of Sharps. He throws it back in, but throws it to Jacob Hobbs. Hobbs to the corner for Wilkerson. Three on the way. It's short. That goes off of Hay, and that'll go over to the Trojans. Sharps able to get it past midcourt, gives it off for Davis. Davis will be bumped on the floor. I believe that foul is called as much because it's five fouls to one. Now it'll be five fouls to two. Hay barely touched him, and it was just a quick whistle. And all the contact we've seen tonight, there's been a lot more that hasn't been called. Able to get it into Eric Moore. Eric Moore just pull up for a three. It's good. His third three of the night. Back down to eight. George in the lane. Sisney got a whole lot of ball on that one. Coach Kofer's kind of upset. I think he wanted someone to step into the lane and stop the ball at some point. He got all the way to the basket. Sisney had to foul from behind, but where's the help <laughs> to step in front of the guy driving the lane? But announcer's curse. As soon as I say he hit four in a row, he misses one. Jack Kissabaugh and Chase Elmore back in for the Bruins. Or Jordan Lovett back in for the Trojans. Gavin George in this quarter alone has taken eight free throws. He's five of eight in this quarter. Gives him eight points on the evening. Take a timeout, 3.29 to go in the third quarter. Let's just talk a little bit more about what Central Harden has done in this ball game tonight and what they need to work on. Well, what, what you're seeing here, one of the things I've noticed from both teams, when they get stagnant, they're passing the ball around outside the three-point line, and it never moves inside, whether by drive or by pass, and they came out at the beginning of this third quarter, tried to throw one in the post to Jacob Hobbs. Deonco Wilkerson got into the uh, lane on the second possession, and now you're seeing Gavin George at the rim. That's why he's getting fouled is because he's actually attacking the basket instead of just throwing the ball around the perimeter for 30 seconds and jacking one up. I see the same thing on the other end. North Harden's been a lot better. They've turned it over some but they are actually attacking the basket. You're seeing them in the lane a lot more, and the ball's moving a lot more. So both teams doing a much better job of not just passing the ball around the perimeter, but trying to get it in the post, trying to cut through and get 
uh, um, better angles and better movement and flow uh, in their offense. Quayshawn Davis goes baseline. There's a lot of potential in that young man. Absolutely. More than just the basketball court as well, play receiver for the Trojans. Hobbs, he drives to the lane. His scoop shot, it's good. And again, to the basket, and Jacob has been much more aggressive here in this quarter. Hobbs tipped the ball, and Sharps actually got it. Uh, um, Sharps ended up touching it and went out of bounds, so it's a turnover to the Bruins. Everett checks in for North, Mumford for Central. Mumford never really looked for his own shot as he caught it on the elbow, wide open. Cut from Wilkerson, he gets it inside, not able to get the bucket. He'll be going to the line to shoot two. Bobby, has uh, Jack Kissball attempted a three-point shot yet tonight? He did a deep one down here in the first half. That foul on Everett, that's his fourth, team seventh. He is their leading percentage three-point shooter. I haven't seen him involved um, in that very now he much. Had, I know he's coming off of a, a slight injury, uh, and then also I believe he had the flu last week. Um, and I don't know that they were actually planning on him playing this evening. Wilkerson misses both of his free throws. Moore, Josh Moore with the rebound. Davis goes baseline. Stopped there by Kissaball. Swings around. Johnson with it. Elmore stops him, and Hobbs keeps him kind of pinned down there. Davis will take a three. It's going to be short. Hobbs with the rebound. They get it into Elmore at good position. A very easy pitch and catch, and that gets Elmore into double digits. Love it at the other end. That'll be a charge. Good job by Mumford. Stand his ground. Love to see that kind of play on the football field. It uh, doesn't fly here. Yeah. Kiss the ball walked before he took that shot. As he was trying to get the ball to his hand, he took an extra step. Again, the last two possessions thrown into Elmore and attacking the basket on that one. So again, much stronger. And now Elmore will get charged for the block on the other end. His second, team's third. <laughs> Coach Kofer wanting the, Josh Moore could have got for a charge there as he was just pushing Elmore out of the way. Hobbs, long arms, had knocked that one away. Johnson gets it back. Floater in the lane, no good. Lovett tried to save it in. Oh, I believe that went off Lovett. Official going to say it went off of Hobbs. And now... Foul's going to be on Josh Moore. I didn't see exactly what it was. I was watching other action. Eighth team foul, second foul on Josh Moore.
Elmore skip pass to Turner. Hobbs, three from the corner. It's good. This third three of the night. 15 points now for the Central Harden senior. 50 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Now out to a 14-point lead for the Bruins. That one knocked in the air. Wilkerson gets the steal quickly up to Elmore. He stops in the lane, lets everybody go by, and makes the bucket. And Elmore now with 12 points. Twenty-five seconds to go in the quarter. Turner tips that one. It'll go out and stay with the Trojans. Jalen Sharps will check back in along with Eric Moore for the Trojans. Sisney, 15-footer, no good. Mumford with the rebound. Still time for the Bruins. Eight seconds. Wilkerson pulls up, no good. Mumford high off the glass, no good. Johnson with the rebound. Two seconds to go. They get it up to Sharps. And Sharps unable to get that shot off. So our third quarter comes to a close. Central Harden in control with a 16-point lead over the Trojans. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results with locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Radcliffe, Brandenburg, Bardstown, and Louisville. Online at physicaltherapyky.com. Ryan Harris of Remax Premier Properties. For all your real estate needs, contact Ryan at 270-723-4626 and he'll get the job done. Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere where wireless works. Online at bluegrasscellular.com. E-Town Exterminating, 270-737-6900. Online at mugabug.com. And West Point Bank with five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple online at westpointbank.com. Coach, we got one quarter to go. It was a four-point game at halftime. It's now a 16-point lead for the Bruins. Kind of tell me what you've seen so far. Well, in that quarter, it was a 23 to 11 edge for the Bruins. Uh, the Bruins only scored 27 in the first half. So they're getting back to what they need to do offensively, and that's attack the, uh, the basket. Uh, move the ball in and out uh, of the lane, not just settle to pass the ball around the outside. And, and North Harden scoring 11, that's what they've averaged in this game. They had 23 at half, and uh, they just continue to really struggle, uh, especially the length of Central Harden is starting to play havoc with, their, uh, with them in the passing lanes, uh, creating a lot of turnovers. Hobbs had a good shot down low after posting up. Misses that one. On the court now for the Trojans. A good entry pass from Eric Moore to Sharp. Sharps now with 10 points. Sisney Johnson, Sharps, Max Campbell, and Eric Moore. And Sisney gets the steal. This is that shot. Johnson with the rebound and put back. On the court for the Bruins. Wilkerson, George, Kissaball, Mumford, and Hobbs. Only two players to mention in foul trouble. Tony Everett has four. Hobbs takes a three. That one's no good. Eric Moore with the rebound. Everett has four fouls for the Trojans. And Nasir Johnson has three fouls for the Trojans. Char Sharps kick out to Eric Moore. Three on the way. It's short. Max Campbell tracks down that rebound. And that went off of Campbell after it came back up like he ran into it. Turn over to the Bruins. George spinning in the lane, shot no good. Campbell had it. Hobbs kicks it out to kiss the ball, shot no good. Wilkerson with the offensive rebound.
And Coach Nickel going to take a 30-second timeout as Gavin George was going to be trapped in the corner. Tune in weekly for rebroadcasts of all local HCC TV programs airing on Brandenburg Telecom and Comcast Cable Channel 2, Spectrum Communica Communications Channel 184, and you can always search our past broadcast on our YouTube channel. Just search HCC TV. In our next games next week, we will have ball games on Tuesday and Friday, 17th District Action. As Tuesday night, it'll be a boys game. John Harden to uh, traveling to Elizabethtown. And then on Friday night, it'll be girls action as John Harden will travel to Central Harden. And I'm not sure what happened at, between at that timeout, the assistant coaches for North Harden in the dugout yelling. I believe there was a technical called on the bench. And Wilkerson will go to the line to shoot two. Wilkerson knocks down the first. Central Harden basketball. Elmore going to throw a lob to Hobbs. That'll be on Campbell as he undercut him. Kind of dangerous. They throw a lot of lobs, and Jacob plays up around the rim, and he gets a lot of that where the guys are underneath him. Trying to be physical with him, I'm sure, but uh, a little dangerous. And after that technical foul, now the Bruins will be in the double bonus the rest of the ball game. That's Hobbs' first free throw of the night. Now sit down. Didn't get the roll on that one. Campbell gets the rebound. Wilkerson tips that. Sharps able to track it down. Sharps will take a deep three online. It's good. His third three pointer of the night. Now got 13 points on the evening. Nasir Johnson gets the steal and the two points. Bianco Wilkerson goes straight through the lane, throws it up. Moore going to come out with it for the Trojans. He's going to go to the other lane. That one's blocked by Elmore. We should have given that up on a bounce pass to Johnson. They would have had an easy layup there. I know he was being aggressive, but um, missed an open teammate. Sharp steps inside. Now he'll skip past it to Davis. George goes for the steal. Davis gets it, gets it to Campbell down low, misses that shot. That's a shot Max Campbell's got to make for the Trojans. Elmore stops, three-pointer on the way. It's good. His third three of the night. Johnson drives inside, hangs, and gets the roll. Johnson had... No points at halftime, scored two in the third quarter. Now he's got six more here in the fourth. And it's back to an 11-point lead for the Bruins. We're at the midway point of this fourth quarter. 56-45, Central Harden on top. Travel call on Wilkerson. And go over to the Trojans. 
Notice it seems like the Trojans have been a lot better with uh, Max Campbell on the floor. In the second quarter when they played really well, he was out there. I know he had a turnover a few possessions ago, but um, he seems to open things up uh, for the rest of the team. Doing a great job down there working real hard. Davis, baseline jumper, no good. Ball knocked around. Hobbs comes out with it. That'll be a foul on Johnson. That's going to be his fourth. And that'll send Wilkerson to the line to shoot two. One more for Wilkerson. Wilkerson, eight for nine from the line tonight. He has one made basket. Give him his 10 points. Sharps, three on the way, no good. George with the rebound. He walked. And he's asking how he walked, and how he walked was he took one more step <laughs> with the ball. I think he was intending to throw the ball in the air after the first step, but his foot came down yep. um, before he could get around the defender and, and put the bounce pass on the floor. Ty Turner, Damon Mumford back into the ball game for the Bruins. Sharps will square up, the other three on the way, it's no good. Able to get his own rebound, then he'll draw the foul from Turner. He tried to draw the foul off Turner on the first shot as Turner kind of went past him and Sharps fell to the floor. Officials didn't call it. Got up, got his own rebound, and then Turner did run into him. Eric Moore, three from the corner, it's good. Eric Moore with his fourth three-pointer of the night gives him 15 points. He's had a three in each quarter for North Harden. That foul's on Max Campbell. And Campbell's just trying to ride uh, Hobbs into the lane. That'll be his third, and that'll send Hobbs to the line to shoot two. Josh Moore back into the lineup for the Trojans. Sean Hay back in for the Bruins. This is that one. Mumford with the rebound. Quickly back up. No good. Ball knocked around. Sharps will come out with it. Outside to Davis. Davis going to go baseline. High shot in the air. No good. Ball bounce around. Eric Moore gets it. He'll be fouled and he'll be going to the line. I believe this one's going to be on Ty Turner as well. Turner picks up his third, team's fifth, and Eric Moore will go to the line. Moore, one for two from the line tonight. Jack Kissaball and Chase Elmore back into the lineup for Central Harden. And that one is as a miss, and we'll go over to the Bruins. Tony Everett, Marcus Sisney, and Elijah Washington into the ball game for North Harden. And Jordan Lovett going to check in as well. Well, surprisingly, Lovett hasn't been much of a factor. And I think if you'd have seen any of the normal output uh, that Josh Moore usually gives, you might have an even tighter ball game. He struggled to get into the flow of the game. 
Elmore, three. It's good. His fourth three-pointer of the night. Two in the second quarter, now two in the fourth quarter. Everett on the other end, shot no good. Wilkerson with the rebound. Hobbs, good dish down low to Hay. Hay unable to reel that one in. Now Washington comes out with it. They'll give it up to Everett. Everett fade away, 15-footer. No good, but he was fouled on the shot. Hobbs picks up his third, team sixth. It'll be Everett's first trip to the line tonight. Everett the other night had a good ball game against Elizabethtown. Tonight scoreless so far against the Bruins and he gets his first point with that made free throw. That one long, Elmore with the rebound. Moore almost gets that one, Elmore tracks it back down. Gives it up to Wilkerson. That'll be a travel. Good job by Everett as he stuck his hand in there. And now we'll have Sharps, Eric Moore, Davis, and Johnson right back into the lineup for the Trojans. One forty to go in the ball game. Eleven point lead for the Bruins. And Sharp anticipated Wilkerson going in a different direction. The North Harden basketball. Coach Kofer going to take a full timeout. 132 to go here in the ball game. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel One programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, Ryan Harris of Remax Premier Properties, Bluegrass Cellular, Newtown Exterminating, and West Point Bank. Tune in weekly for rebroadcast of all local HCC TV programs airing on Brandenburg Telecom and Comcast Cable Channel Two. Spectrum Communications Channel 184. And you can always search our past broadcast on our YouTube channel. Just search HCEC TV. Again, a reminder next week we have two games on tap. It'll be boys' action on Tuesday night as John Harden travels to Elizabethtown. And then on Friday night it'll be girls' action as John Harden travels to Central Harden. Both games with a 7.30 tip time. Come back out, it'll be North Harden basketball. They're down 11, 1.32 to go in the ball game. Central Harden four and two in district play right now. North Harden two and four in district play. E-Town's three and three. Shot inside by Sharps, no good, but he is fouled. I believe that'll be on Wilkerson. Just his first foul, team's seventh. And Sharps to the line. Two for three from the line tonight is Sharps. And now we'll have Max Campbell, Elijah Washington, Marcus Sisney, and Jordan Lovett. Check right back in for Coach Kofer and the Trojans. That one doesn't fall in as well. Hobbs with the rebound. Looks and picked up his ball. No one really around him. Wilkerson well, top of the key. Lost it as he tried to go inside. Sisney comes out with it. And Sisney loses it at the other end. That's going to be a tie up, Love It and Wilkerson. <laughs> and it's almost like they know the whistle's been blown, but I still got to win the tie up and get the ball away. 
It'll be North Harden basketball. Tony Everett checks in for Sharps. 103 to go here in the ball game. Get it in to love it. I'll say this, it doesn't seem like there's a, a sense of urgency on the Trojans. You're down 11. You got to get some shots in the air. Uh, you know, the last two possessions, the Bruins have fouled as well. You're, you know, I'm sure Coach uh, Nichols not looking for uh, people to be fouling at this stage of the game. Kissaball picks up that foul. Let's send Lovett to the line. Lovett 0 for 4 from the free throw line tonight. That wasn't even better. That ball seemed to be spinning sideways. I don't think that's how it's supposed to go. Everett able to save this one in. The drive inside, pull up little floater, no good. Campbell had it, love it, gets the rebound, can't put it back in. Campbell again to it, and now we have a foul. A couple of Trojans hit the deck. Hobbs going to pick up his fourth. With 30 seconds to go, I'm surprised that he'll stay in the ball game. Let's see Preston Keith go into the line. Or to the scorer's table. Campbell to the line to shoot. Keith will check in for Hobbs. Or sorry, Preston Keith checks into the ball game. Campbell gets his fifth point on the night. Now, Everett going for the steal. Kiss the ball on the other end. I believe this one's going to be on Lovett. That's his third. Kiss the ball to the line tonight just for the first time tonight. Shooting two. First points for Kissaball. Now I have Eric Moore, Josh Moore, Jalen Sharps, Nasir Johnson, and Quayshawn Davis check back in for North Harden. Kissaball not able to get that one in. Quickly get it ahead for Davis. Davis goes baseline, pulls up 10 footer, doesn't get the roll. Kiss the ball with the rebound. Ball to the floor. And Wilkerson will be fouled and will go the other way with 4.1 seconds to go. Eric Moore, his third. And now Wilkerson will shoot two. Wilkerson in the second half. These will be free throws, eight and nine for him. In just this half, he also had two in the first half. Carson Scamahorn, Michael Kirkpatrick, and Mason Thompson into the lineup for Central Harden. Wilkerson buries that one. Jalen Sharps comes forward. This three-pointer no good. And so our final here at North Harden. Central Harden on top, 64-51 over the Trojans. Well, this has been in a Harden County Educational Community Television Student Production. HCC TV is a division of Harden County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming is sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunications needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. With locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Radcliffe, Brandenburg, Barstown, and Louisville. Online at physicaltherapyky.com. Ryan Harris of Remax Premier Properties. For all your real estate needs, contact Ryan at 270-723-4626, and he'll get the job done. Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere. 
where wireless work. Visit us at bluegrasscellular.com. Ketonic Exterminating, 270-737-6900, online at mugabug.com. West Point Bank has five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point, or find us online at westpointbank.com. Let us help make life simpler. West Point Bank, hometown banking made simple. Scoring from tonight's ball game, first four of the Bruins. Gavin George had eight, Deonco Wilkerson with 12. Chase Elmore led all Bruins with 18. Jacob Hobbs with 16, Jack Kissaball with one. Ty Turner with seven, and Sean Hay with two. For the Trojans, Jalen Sharps with 13. Tony Everett with one, Quayshawn Davids had six. Eric Moore led all Trojans with 16. Nasir Johnson with eight. Josh Moore with two, and Max Campbell with five. Bruins fall to four, or sorry, six and 15 on the season, while the Bruins improve to 13 and six and take a have a 5-2 record going into the last couple of weeks of the 17th district play. Coach will be back on the air next week, but uh, talk a little bit about tonight's ball game. Well, I think everything has, you know, as far as the district is concerned, has kind of fall uh, fallen into place. We kind of know who's who. And where they are, you certainly saw a very sluggish, uh, uh, difficult to watch first half. Uh, Central Harden much more effective in the third quarter uh, as they were able to move the ball a lot better. That's what we have to see from them in the future. The ball has to get into the lane, even if it, it's passed back out for three-point shots. Uh, they have got to be able to move the ball in and out of the lane and not just around the three-point arc, which is what we saw a lot of in that first half. And again, for, for North Harden, listen, they, they're a young team. Uh, they're, they're a team that uh, has struggled this year quite a bit, um, a little better there in the fourth quarter offensively. But they've got the makings of a great young uh, backcourt. Uh, Jalen Sharps, I believe, is a sophomore, and Quayshawn Davis, a freshman. Those two guys can, uh, can really be leaders for this program uh, going forward and, and uh, do an awful lot of really good things. So uh, a lot to be excited about in that backcourt, that young backcourt for the Trojans. Again, a reminder, we'll be back on the air Tuesday night as it'll be boys' action. It'll be a packed house at Elizabethtown as they host the John Harden Bulldogs in 17th District play. Tip time there will be 7.30. For all of our workers here at HCC TV, for Mr. Dale Mings in the truck, for Coach Gray, I am Bobby Thompson saying so long and good night.